everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches. I'm just going to do a slightly different tutorial today. <laughs> it's about um, putting watermarks onto your images because I've had a few problems with my images being stolen. So I've had a few people ask me how I put my watermark onto my image. So what it, this is a tutorial about that. So this is for Photoshop Elements, which is what I'm using here. I haven't, I don't know how to do it in other software but I'm guessing that if it's layered image is then or you can work with layers then I'm guessing it's going to be very similar so um, yes using Photoshop elements you just uh, open a new file so create a blank file let's just call it watermark um, I've used an image that is about seven centimeters square which is two and three quarter inches I believe not yet, yeah, I think it is. Um, set the resolution fairly high, 150, because it is only going to be just text, it's not going to be anything too fancy and it's fairly small. So, yeah, but you want you may need to resize it, so set it to 150. I have um, set the background to transparent because you will want to just you don't want to block out a whole area, you, you still want to be able to see your work behind. So set that to transparent and then click OK. Now um, this is a, a PD, PSD file, Photoshop file, so it will contain layers. You want to keep that file as the, the Photoshop file because you want to keep those layers because you're going to be just dropping this on as another layer onto your actual image. So. I'm just going to quickly, over on this right hand side here, set um, another layer and then fill it just with black, just so that I can see what I'm typing, um, because I'm going to be using, um, whoops, using a white font. So I'll go back to the transparent layer and then I go to the text tool and here you obviously you just write whatever it is you want to be seen. So that could be you copyright your name, um, your website address, whatever. So that will just do for now. You do kind of want to fill as much as this square as possible but not, you don't want to, you still want to be able to read what, you still want to be able to see behind the image so you don't want to take it up too much. So. Um, let's just see if I can um, yeah, stretch that out a little bit. I've gone a bit screwy here, but that'll do. Oh, I think you can hear my husband playing videos in the background, sorry about that. Okay, so um, there we go. There's your watermark, be whatever it, you want it to be. Okay, so I'm now going to get rid of that dark, dark, dark layer because I can see what I've written now, I'm happy with that. So I'm literally just going to click on that and then the trash can to get rid of it. Yep, delete the layer. And now you can see why we put the black layer in behind because that's not too easy to see, is it? Okay, but that's perfect. That's just what we want. Okay, so you would again. So let would just save that as. I'll save that to my desktop. And it's that PSD file, as you can see there, just at the top because you want to keep that as it says save layers okay so click on save and you'll keep that so you can always change that if your website address has changed whatever you can keep that and just to change it as you need so now what we need to do is need to apply that to one of your images to do this <clears throat> you just open up the image that you want to apply and I want to apply it to this cushion picture and then down at the bottom where it says show open files your project bin you just need to literally grab point on the image that you want to put on top and you just drag it over and you let go and there it goes there is your watermark placed on your image so you can resize this that's probably a little bit too big <laughs> um, and that's why we set that resolution fairly high so that you can resize it and when you've done it, it smooths out the lines again. So that's why we, we did that. I don't want it that big. So you still basically you want to 
you want the watermark to kind of touch on the edge or be part of the main part of the image because that's what's happened with me as I've had pictures being used by someone else without my permission and I want to stop that from happening so uh, this is why I'm having to put a watermark on so you could do something like that it's still it is distracting I don't really like it <laughs> but I'm gonna have to do it um yeah so you you can choose where to put it I mean you could even just do that you can see the white does tend to blend into the background and you can always over on the right hand side with the layers you can always change the opacity so you could knock that back down to 50 so it's still there still see it but it's not that it doesn't distract from your beautiful artwork in your picture okay so I'm happy with that now and then what you would do is you would need to collapse these you just merge these layers together so what you can do go up to layer up in the top menu go to merge visible and you'll see when I do that 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 now that those two layers now become one and then you just do your save as I would do save as I would distinguish it from your original file to show that it is watermarked so I've just put a W at the beginning of that because you don't want to lose your original image because you don't <laughs> well I don't anyway it's up to you you might not be bothered by that but I just want to keep my original image clear and I want one with watermark on it so you just distinguish the two make sure you know what's different don't overwrite your original one click on save set whatever you want your image options click OK and that's it that's how you do it so just keep your um, your watermark file to hand keep it as the the layer file in this case which is a PSD file and there you go that's it that's how you do it thanks for watching I hope this is helpful and I'll be back soon with some more fun crochet videos bye